Welcome, Wastelanders, back to Alan Wake Remastered. Yes, I know. We are no longer in October, so it's not really Shocktober anymore. We are in Shocktober Encore, which I'm I'm going with. Trust me, I'm going with. Um, yes. So in this episode, we are finally saving Zabadi. Barry needs to be saved. We need to save him from those pesky crows. And yes, and I'll tell you, I get, I, we get up to my limit now. So everything pretty much, I'd say, from after the Barry bit, is brand new, really. So it's all new. I'm just about to do it now. So this is going to be cool. It's going to be good. I'm not, it's all new stuff for me. So yes, and obviously Alan Wake 2 is out. And I, it, it was true what I said. I think I said it in one of my early ones. Um, you have to play control grasp the whole situation okay because they have a DLC which is AWE which is Alan Wake Incident and you have to play that so this is a shame, it means I've got to play another game before I play Alan Wake 2 but alas we will do it, we will get it done first we need to finish this and then we can get on with it anyway, stick with me as we fall into the pages the binder of Alan Wake Remastered I found the box and I'm back up. Now, I got to jump down. There's an easier way. Oh no, I haven't. It's fine. Oh. So that's gonna fall down anyway. Don't you? Still looking? Oh, I see someone there. What's up here though? Told that's all I'm gonna do. Try and find hidden places. Oh, bear traps. That's that, that's that water. Oh. What do I do, you know? Do I shoot it? Warn me about these traps. Okay. I wouldn't want to get caught in one of them. Those teeth look nasty. Where'd that guy go? <laughs> Seriously, where'd the guy go? Oh. 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 I was here earlier, that's fine. That's a hidden one, that one, isn't it? <laughs> Promise. <laughs> ah! <gasps> oh my god. I didn't even see that one. I made so many. Go go here. Woo I gotta be careful. Oh, storage, batteries. Gotta watch out for the. The bears traps. Pins somebody to put some here. You gotta watch out. I need to fall off that cliff. So I'm talking about. Yeah, boy. I ain't playing around. 
Even if there is bear traps. I was going to say, you guys always come in pairs. I see, Jez. Can you hear them? They're coming. That bear trap. I don't know what it is. Ooh. No? Right. Okay. Who are these people? I've seen nine or here and a manuscript page or a uh, thermos in a while. That's a hut. What's that? I hear voices that aren't my own. Yeah, I got you, boy. I got you, big boy. There we go. That's what I thought. There we go. Oof. Safe haven. The light. She's precious. Thank you. Damn good cup of coffee. Hey, I told you this game's essentially like Twin Peaks the video game. Manuscript. Hunting rifle. Don't have a, a shotgun though. Can I not change between them? Imagine that does more damage than the shotgun. Anyway. Oh, we didn't read that one. Ooh, got two. On more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else, something foreign and nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I'd never really understood what she meant until now. There you go. There we go, another one as well, me. The night had been one desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. <laughs> That's what I heard the chainsaw. Things were looking up. Then the chainsaw. What? Keep on going, keep on going. Get out of these woods, do we? At least I'm on point with the, uh, the manuscript. Oh. I had heard the plane fall. It made no sense. It was clear that it had just fallen here, but it was very old and obviously hadn't flown in decades. What? Looking at it, sent a shiver down my spine. Okay, I don't remember this. I, I, like I said before, I did stop. I have, there was a point where I stopped playing. Always get to that point. I don't remember this though. This is a problem. 
I don't remember the plane. Can I go in the plane? Oh, I can. Ow. I didn't finish looking here. See. See. If I didn't jump down, I wouldn't have got it. God, where am I now? Da, 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 da. There we go. Thank you very much. We're gonna flare, flare, flares. Thank you for the flares. Oh my god. I thought I was dead. I am not. It's fine. We are fine. Okay, so I was supposed to come out here and then... This looks like a surf plus. Ugh. Grab it. Grab the edge. Oh. Neckers. Oh, have I got a hold out there? Maybe. Oh, now I'm stuck. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, no, a flare here. Hello? Would you, I'd be so kind if you would offer me a job as a housekeeper? Do you understand my logic? Oh, that's what I was earlier. Mate, now I'm up this tall tree for no reason. I didn't realize that's what I was earlier. See, it is the... Okay, let's make our way down. There we go. Hmm. Man, this thing just keeps changing. Oh, I got you. What I thought. Oh. Boom. Man, there's loads of ammo. I still hear you. Tiny bit of light here. Stop jumping. There we go. Ooh. Thank you. No. 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 There we go. Where have I got to go anyway? Up there. Oh, do you see it? I see it. I'm going. Hmm. Thank you. Is this where I got to go? I hear someone.
Ow, that's out of water. I'm jumping. Stop. That's it. That's it. What I thought. Okay, I'm just gonna make my way back here quickly just in case. Oh, this looks lovely and rickety. Oh, heal me. Thank God. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Hello. I want to be a housekeeper. Anyway, oh, I don't need to do what I thought I need to do anyway. So then do this. Manuscript. There we go. Is this last one? I oh, know. Oh man, I missed one. It's quite favorite really, actually. Ooh. The logging site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage, excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Bored, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. Okay. So I missed a few. Oh, it's a shame. Oh wait, what did that say? Oh, find this page in Nightmare. 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 Oh, okay, no, I see, 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 see. Anything with that is a nightmare. So you gotta play for the game again anyway. Hmm. That's a good way of doing it. You unlock the full story. But you have to play it on a harder difficult turn. Kick. Hoochah! Oh, hello. Oh, that's my missing page. When Barry saw the darkness attack the visitor center, it made him a believer. The men Al said he'd shot, they hadn't been just locals on crank. Somehow the world had changed. Like did I say crank? Switch without warning. You think you're watching a sitcom and you're really watching a horror show. When the birds started attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised, just terrified. Okay. Any more of this crap? Like, I find the flares okay, but they don't really do that good of a job compared to the flare gun. No? I keep. Because it's um, Evil Within, it's press X to climb, that's why. Man, this is crap everywhere. What about you, buddy? Okay. 
Yeah, that place looks like it's about to fall down. The darkness walks. What? Where's her face? Be aware of what awaits us. What are you doing, mate? Come on. So it doesn't really do it that well. Yeah, I'd much prefer the flash granadas to the flash, the flare, flare granadas. Ooh, hunting rifle. Suppose I should really use the hunting rifle. Missing one there. Shadow stirred and the wind picked up as I ran through the forest. I felt the dark presence turning its gaze toward me. Then the moonlight was blotted out by dark shadows that raced violently across the ground, moving too swiftly to be natural. Darkness gathered between the trees and melted again to reveal the taken. No natural path had brought them here. Shadow stirred and the wind picked up. Hey, I just wanted to get out of that quickly. <laughs> Cheeky look over here. Okay. Oh. I hear you, birds. Is. Let me show you things reloaded. I think it wants me to go this way. Oh, maybe jump. Come on in. You the same, yeah. I got you. There we go. I'd say it's okay. I much prefer the fast paced pistol, if I'm honest. I like to be able to spam shots at them. Hello? Do you have employment for a housekeeper? See, you might as well use the pistol. It's so much better. I thought I saw some yellow here. I'm just gonna have a look. No, that's just been my imagination. It's a big door. Okay. Oh. That's some big boy. I wasted the fairbags. I wasted the flare, it's a bit annoying.
Why'd you chop down that tree, though? Man, this game is dark. I think the bitrate is going to be destroyed. Like, YouTube's going to have a field day with this. I have to turn the brightness right the way up, you know? I don't see anything. I'm trying to look still. I know I'm going to miss stuff, so I'm not too bothered. <gasps> Safe haven. Oh, there we go. What's up, Barry? Barry? <laughs> I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What am I crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. Keep the lights on, Barry. Stay safe. There'll be birds everywhere. I still had to reach Barry at the cabin, but at least I was out of the woods. Cause I'm out of the woods and I'm out of the woods. Does that song? Uh, what's the name of it? Tay Tay. Oh, Tay Swift. Man, I have full time batteries. Am I back at the thingy center? I think I am. Looking for Podges, Pages, and Thermes. I'd have to get the car from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster. And the headlights were a welcome bonus. Welcome bonus. Mate, birds, man. Bird things. Not my friends. Are they going out? Or was it just me? Were they flickering? That's so many birds. I had to find the key to the garage. I'm going. Well, these birds are everywhere. I needed the garage key to get to the car. Magic. Hello. Oh. A story is not Hold on a second. Might as well read this. The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. Call it instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Hmm. Anyway, back to this. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole Try thing. Try to get it. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. Probably the best I'm going to get is this. Dies. Alice dies. Best I'm going to get. Okay. I knew it. I knew someone's gonna come at me in the toilets. I played enough Resident Evil. <laughs> Bloody knew it. What about this, Labs? Why well, don't know toilets? It's so pitch black in here, man. That's weird, there's no toilets. Why? Go away. <laughs> we 
We're doing like Alan Wake driving now. Oh god, I am driving. I was only joking. Come on, man. There we go. <laughs> what? Just seeing as any like manuscript pages. Or this. It looks like there's something in that car, but I don't know if it's because it's drivable. I think it's because it's drivable. You know? I got you, boys. How about you? Ooh. This truck does not drive very well. How about that? Well, oh, I hit him. Ah. Why does it take so long? so many people. Leave me alone. I made his cars on his last legs. No, I got flag on. No manuscript. Whoa. I was trying to dodge like mobile people. Oh, even more. I need to get back in the car. Alright, get back. Uh, so many people. Why is there so many people? Get in the car. Let's go. Drive, 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 drive. What? They can pull you out of the car? Get in, get in. Oh, it's broke. Cheese it. Oh, I need to find another car. This didn't go very well.
Oh, leave me alone. There's so many. Come on, boys. Oh, I need to find a car. There's so many. Why is there so many? I see a car. Oh. Say, why is my car, my gun not shooting? Just let me get in the car. Let me get in the car. What is this? Why can't I get in the car? Oh, really? Okay, we're just gonna drop the battery. Fuck this. That'd be easy to get that one. Right. We're just going to go straight to Barry. If I remember how to get to Barry. I know they're still out there. This checkpoint, at least. Oh, okay. I know you can get back up. Come on. I'm trying to kill this guy. <sighs> they do have a lot of cars around. I suppose that's a bonus. Maybe I'm still supposed to use the car. Welcome to the lodge. Oh, what's down here? This looks like a place to go. Don't know. Aha! Never wrong. Manuscript page in there. Very dark.
I was gonna say that means there's more of you. What's that? Sound like squelching. Carl only got you so far. Ugh. Where's an enemy? Oh, that was freaky. Where we go? The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Yeah, flare gun is, hands down. I was gonna say I hear someone, but I didn't see him. Oh god, more of them. Hmm. I'm coming, Barry. Oh, Barry. It was the kidnapper. Oh no. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, Wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need a week. Mm. Not done. I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main city boy. At noon. You bring the manuscript. You get your wife. If not, well, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. Where's Barry? I don't think that was my house. Oof. Okay, so this is where I got to. After you've done this, this is where I normally stop. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. Yeah, this is where I'd normally stop. I don't know why. It just is. I said it before. I don't. I don't. I don't stop for any reason particularly. I'm going back. They're not attacking me. Ah! Well, you should be dead. No more flares. Ah. I got you. Come on, boys. That was my last flare. Okay. Barry, 
How many have I killed? That time. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. Hmm. <laughs> For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? We'll be there in less than an hour. See you soon. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the old oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah, cause I ain't creepy. Oh, so good. I love how it ends like that as well. Plays that like an episode, like a series, isn't it? A TV show. End of episode two. Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has we don't see this either. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while okay. I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Hmm. Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were <laughs> visiting. Well, I'll show you her trail. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I... I know, because I think I'm going to continue to talking. I'm just going to stop here and say, that. yeah, this is where I normally get to. I've never made it past this point, so all this is new to me anyway so i found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspapers archives this place is crazy disappearances mysterious deaths urban legends come true and get this most of this stuff takes place around cauldron lake well you ain't wrong mister the indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld i'm the god fearing type myself I, I don't hold with that sort of thing yeah okay Anyway, huh? there was an island yeah. owned by okay. a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Okay. We are back, we are back, we are back. Probably not. I think it's the same part, so it doesn't really matter. But still, as normal, we are searching. I think I fixed the audio for some reason. The music was so fucking loud in this game. So loud. But I fixed it, I think. But you know, boys, we're going to be searching. We've got to search a little something. Maybe we'll get a firmness. Oh, man, you script. Babe. Either way, we're gonna search. Make it a bit more on, entertaining. I'll take you to Rose's I can't trail. remember how to sprint. 
Yeah, I haven't played this game in ages. Legit, I haven't played this game since I recorded it in October. We're now in November. No surprise. Right. I don't know much about cars. But I'm, tr I'm learning. This car has no wires. Where's the loom? Where's the spark plugs and whatever? Did I just move that car? I did. Just follow me. It's not far. All right, Mr. Echo Man. Come on. Yeah, I turned the music right down. The music was so loud. Like, even to certain points when I was editing, like the music was overpowering me. And I had it like at least twenty decibels lower than it normally was. Listen, I got things to do. Oh, fuck. This place don't run itself. You what, mate? Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Yeah, anyway, famous. Thank you. Does everyone have, like, disobedient dogs? Bloody feels like it. Okay, I'm here. What do you want? Come on, man. Mate, you always have a supermarket trolley. You know. Everywhere you go. Oh, mate, you, I have to stand next to you. What is this? What are you doing? It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, oh. now, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's a uh. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Okay. Oh yeah, update. I finished Twin Peaks. Lol. Uh, as you can imagine, I've had time since playing this game. And I finished the first series and the second series. I am about to start The Return. Which I'm very excited with. Because like, that's the only thing I haven't watched. I think I said before, like, I watched Series 1 and Series 2 ages ago. I'm talking not 5, 6 years ago. Maybe even 10 years ago. And, um... Where'd Limp Man go? I was there. And yeah, I've never watched Return. I think I watched one episode and I, that was it. The first episode, just to see. No spoilers, what happened to Dale. And that was it. But I'm rewatching it with my family, so. And I see it famous in a window. And, well, um, mister, this yeah. here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Yeah, man, we, we can do. We can do. That's what I thought. So she's going to have some manuscript pages then, isn't she? So I think that's what she said. Mate, the physics of this game. Oh, I was going to say, has Barry already gone in there? So it's a nice little trailer. She's standing right there. Welcome to, to, oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm, I'm so glad you're here. Rose, what? you have my manuscript? 
Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Okay. Hey, this is really good. Would you set some damn fine coffee? Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? Wh oh, she drugged us. No. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. Barbara. If you need to stop it, you must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You Ugh. must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Oh, God. Back to work, boy. I felt nauseous, hung over. Oh my Only god. Anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm okay, so that's his lover in it. She my drowned to his poorly revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances. Mm. Thomas Zane. Yeah, the genre of the story go. seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. That was obvious. I'm just looking at this though. Who are the two pictures at the top? They don't look like him. Bit creep. Not gonna lie. Rose Have I got no weapons? For me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. Took a day. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. She took a whole day from me. What are you doing? Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. Might as well be funny. It was free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Wouldn't you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. Might as well be funny. Day. Come back soon. Right. Barry was out of it. He oh, was God, way too on. heavy to carry. Can I sprint now? My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Yeah, man's not being funny. Like, she did not sound all there. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, so. Did, so, did I only miss the nightmare pages? Yeah, I'm so happy. So that means, like, I have every page on episode one. Episode two, I probably missed a few. Oh, hell no. No, I missed one. Oh, mate. I only missed the one. And then I'll see it. Episode three. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. No. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff station. Way past her normal bedtime. That's not creepy, knowing a young woman's bedtime. No, not at all. So I has nothing. No, um... Way of fighting back the demons.
Yeah, I'm, yeah, as well. I was gonna say, I'm not even funny. That that woman was not all there. Like when she was like, "Hello, Miss Dunwake," I would have gone, "Hmm." Hmm. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all. Yeah, man. Angled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I ain't the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I just been staring out the window here. Jesus. Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I had a, uh, you know, uh, argument with Danny. You know, Danny. And uh, then I got in trouble with the law. You know, and um, I'm just, well. I heard something like that, Walt. Yeah. Well, you know, he's a, uh, you know, Danny's my best friend. What the hell, man? I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I don't know. You know, something's gonna happen. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I think I better go. Well, Walt, maybe... No, thanks, Pat. Well, good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? No songs. No songs. Go away with songs. Go away. Them songs have been causing me chaos. Keep restricting my videos to certain countries. It's annoying. Oh, that's that guy. What does he want? I'm trying to see pages oh, or anything. Gonna get it now. Why? God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. Why? Don't move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slane. Why are you shooting? That's what I don't get. Yeah, fucking is, man. Playing that. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Oh, yeah, Barry. Oh, go, go this way. Can't catch me, Kappa. I don't know, what did he do for them to, like, be like this? He hasn't killed anyone. Stop running! There he goes! Okay, man. Keep your eyes peeled. He's gonna try to make it through here. Oh, damn. Where did he go? Fan out! Wait! Oh my god. I can't run. Jesus. Seems a bit too elaborate. If I'm being honest. Is this the way to go? I think so. There's a manuscript page there. decades 
The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the rider on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Ooh. So it knew he was coming then. Yeah, there you go. Really? He literally just said, she just said I'm unarmed. Fucking Tossa, mate. Well, I know is manuscript Pudge. Oh my god, wow, this is really far away down. Rose didn't know how the strange old lady got in her trailer, and she looked wrong somehow. The woman showed her teeth in an approximation of a smile and traced a finger down Rose's cheek. Pretty Ugh. girl, she said. Rose felt as if she was falling asleep, but her knees didn't buckle. The crone spoke in a whisper, her words ice cold and dark in Rose's ear. Pretty little girl. So creepy. Cool. I don't need health bar, just like the ah, uh, wow, the loveliness. Drop hazard. What the? Playing it. Oh man, it's so cold in the UK today. Well, tonight. I got hoodies on and the blankets. I'm still cold. Oh. No. Man, I thought I was a person, but it's a sign. Yeah, m m maybe we we turn down the audio a bit more. Why is it so loud? I've turned it down. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, you tell him, Sheriff. Dumbass knob. You ain't no Dale Cooper. Dale Cooper was smart. And he liked coffee. Yeah. Man, a fucking helicopter, Are you serious? How did he get a helicopter? No way, this small town has a helicopter. You on the ground. Hold right there. There's no way to run. Freeze! 
Yeah, that was obvious. There we go. Well, I'm not really searching as much, but I'm looking out. Because you can see it mostly, like, the light is the manuscript and the flashing is the thermoses. It's so, like, here's a perfect opportunity to have stuff, you know? Oh, mate, can I see that to have a look at her? Oh, God, that's really, like, proper zoomy. Is that the uh, petrol station? Gas station? Whatever you Americans call it. Ooh, one here as well. What am I searching for here? Oh, it's the radio tower, the old guy. I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Yeah. Now that looks like a radio station. Okay. What's there though? It's a big ass light source. Mm, some dang good coffee in there by the looks of it. Yeah. Radio again? Uh, this is James. Mulligan, Thornton, come in. Over. Uh, uh, Thornton here. Uh, James, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. Uh, they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why, they were just... Hey, Mulligan, what are you doing? Come on! Sit down and give me that. James, Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of eau de scotch about him. You know? There you go. Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in and take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh, fed's gonna want to interview Wheeler. Over. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll bet she does. Looks like they have a lot in common. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, that's cool though. Extra bits we didn't have to do. Did them anyway. Well, I take it we'll go this way. I we imagine to the, radio. That the broadcast yeah. tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Mm. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Yeah, I thought we'd be uh, heading on that way. Bam, bam, crows. Oh, hi. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. I see some thermoses. And a World War II flag light. There was no power to the searchlight. But what the hell? Can I at least get a torch. That's some old ass generator. I'm just gonna search around a little bit more. Page hiding somewhere, you don't know, you just don't know. Oh, yep, and Bob. Got the cool to sparks. That's so weird. generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. 
what did I do? Oh my no, this 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 thing looks hella broke. Oh. Oh man, can I not kick it again? That's a proper shame. Okay. Oh, very strange. Why is there like a World War II flood like that? That's so weird. See some lighters. Still no torch, still no gun. Another one. What the fuck? Ooh. Around me have five battery. There we go. Keep a going, keep a going. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an flashbang. ideal weapon for my situation. Flash bay. This is Sheriff Breaker. Report over. This is uh, Alan Wake. Two, come in. I need a report. Over. This is Alan Wake. Come in, please. Over. over. This is Alan Wake over? I hear you're in need of a housekeeper. Over. I I'm I'm lost. Oh. Now we got for the police stuff. Please. Whoop, whoop, Sasa Sando to Pelis. Oh, my God. Ah, Flashbang, angry at <laughs> Flashbang. Give me the HPs, batteries, flash bangs. And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. It's Milt Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Milt? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? There's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Some gunshots? Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door, and they're popping off guns there. They're still Popping shooting. off of guns. No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Well, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. No, 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 no. We, 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 we don't want no sound. We don't want no music. I don't want to be restricted to a certain country's. Flashbang around. Flashbang around. Flashbang going at Flashbang inbound. I must be saying up here then. If they're like, yo, get some enemies. Run, 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 Mr. Blake. Flashbang going at. <laughs> Let's just stick to the main path, shall we? Sound like a good idea to everybody? Was that a page? 
think it is. I'm happy I came back here now. Thank you. Rose touched by the dark touched presence. By the dark presence. Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was screaming in terror. Ooh. So that's what, um, how she like took over. She was like, you be Alan Wake's muse, I promise. Don't you worry, girly. I'll do my flashbangs. Oh, it's a deputy. Get away. Flashbang and ban. Run. Am I going the right way? I, I, I presume so. Ooh. Can't get me. Oh. Flashback in band. Ha ha. Trust the no one into the dark. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> walk in the light. You know, fire, walk with me. What we got? I like a gun. Oh, a flare gun. Hell chair. What's that about? Uh, I'd rather have flashbangs inbound. They're better. Oh, okay, heal, heal. There we go. Yeah, flashbangs are doing real good jobs. What the hell? Flashbang inbound. Am I going to say that every time? Yes. Yes, I am. Why wouldn't I? More flashbangs? Continue on, I suppose. Ooh. Can hell us? Okay. Neither. Yes, yeah, my fool, lads. Yeah, boys, you can't get me. Yeah, there's one big, massive dude there. Hell to the air, boy. Ha, can't get I hope man could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Why, hello, Lorna. What do you have for us? Well, I just don't see why cars bother with the trailer park. What do you mean? It's a trailer park. Of course you're going to have trouble with a place like that. Oh, Jesus, woman. Prejudice much? Well... Let the trailer sort themselves out. I'm sorry, but my granddaddy shot the falls in 1911. Well, thank you very much for that uh, compassionate viewpoint, Florida. No, 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 no. No music, please. We don't want the music. Not here. Not again. So then, so. Early bird, start your day, 7 to 11. The night owl, voice of Pat Main, all night, every night. Is that your car? I'm gonna nick it, man. No, no music. 
la 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 sing happy song la da 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 sing happy song di 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 no music i could mute it but i think i will mute it oh here's a little surprise the famous writer alan wake just walked in folks mate why are you doing that talking into an interview why are you doing this come on in mr wake oh i'm so glad you could find the time to do this mr wake <laughs> whoa, 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 everyone calm down. Put this gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell? What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. What's wrong with this guy, man? I had fallen off so many cliffs it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. There's a train. We get a lot of manuscripts in this part. Oh, here we go. Nightingale on the radio station. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. Legit, what is wrong with this FBI agent? I saw some blinkings over there. Oh. Run. Got it. Get to. It's fine. We got this. Flashbang out. Ooh, come on. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Ooh, a pistol, finally. Damn. I thought I was going to have to waste all my flag guns. No, 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 no. No, 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 Not today, Zerg. Does you want me to go this way or this way? Oh! Yes, yeah, Waffle. I'm hoping it wants me to go this way. Because this is a long detour, if not. Where am I going? Oh. Mate, this just keeps going. Oh. Thank you. Come on, Wake. Get yourself together. Wow, manuscript page and flares. Oh, okay. Water fights Danny. Danny. Had stepped out, but what stumbled back in was something else. Something alien. A monster. Walter tried to kill it. First with his fists, then a chair. It wouldn't die. Instead, it kept coming, unaffected by the beating it had taken. After Walter managed to kick it down the cellar stairs, fear yeah. took over. He ran, got behind the wheel, gunned the engine. The booze wouldn't make him forget, but he knew he had to try. Okay. All that for just one manuscript page and um, a thermos. Damn, man. I don't really want to jump off, just in case I die. Ooh. Now I'm being attacked. Damn, and I'm waking his crappy sprinting. But like, what's your reward for going to get stuff? The detour. 
Bullets. Bullets. Must. Make it. Ah, uh, you, you sprinting is terrible, Alan. So many. Flashbang. Huh? There was no sensible reason for the power company work lines to be here. It yeah. was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. I see you, big man. Don't go. I need you. The darkness controls the taken. Okay. What? Will I turn you back on? Okay. You don't last that long. Good to know. Oh. Here they come. John, I have for you guys. Flashbang up. Go away. Nearly. I ain't finished searching this area, dudes. Ah, oh, page, just here, page. And I'm making these crappy sprinting. Thank you. Monsters? Anyway. <laughs> Wake attacked by bulldozer. The bulldozer's engine roared to life. Mud and rocks flew as it fought for traction. It crashed the concrete wall and landed heavily in the yard. If it were an animal, it would have shaken its head after the impact, fixed its eyes on me, and charged. Of course, it had no head, nor eyes. Shadows crawled on its form, twisting it into a monster. Then, it came for me. It came for me. Alan Wake. There we go. Hmm, I thought I saw something shiny over there. I was wrong. Oh. Nice if I can read it. In the light, it cannot. What? I don't see anyone. Okay. Well, I'll just go. Boom. Oh, what if I can get on the, the said building? I keep forgetting I have a jump. Anything here? Is it just a safe space? So good, man. Come find my flashbang. I know you guys will enjoy it. Uh, 
Uh, let's see a checkpoint. Ooh, bench quick pitch. I feel like I need a checkpoint right now. There we go. Man, I've max batteries already and manuscript page. Sarah distrusts Nightingale. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Yeah, he sounds like a corrupt motherfucker. I'm just going to go up here, because this looks like a place for stuff. Oh. Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. Keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. What? Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection what? had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. Yeah. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Like, uh, sound like stitched. Gather. My screen will be shaking. There's a trainer coming. Thank you for watching this video. That was Alan Wake Remastered, which is my second game in Shocktober this year. This first game is if you click here, is Evil Within, and then you can click with this little button here to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.